All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Form Validation by Building a Calorie Counter, Step 35. All right. So strings have a match method, which takes a regex argument, right? Uh, the match method will return an array of match results containing either the first match or all matches if the global flag is being used, right? Uh, we're going to return the result of calling the match method on a string and pass our regex variable as the argument. We're going to use this to match result. Pardon me. We're going to use this match result later on. All right. So let's go check out the match method before we go crazy. Uh, so we just type in like map, match method JavaScript, and it'll bring up the MDM web docs first uh, hit. And so we come down here, we see const paragraph equals the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, period, it barked, right? Okay, uh, so we've got const regex equals a character class with capital A through capital Z and a global search flag right there. And then we've got the const found is gonna be paragraph dot match with the regex, right? And so when we do the found, it's gonna give us an array of the capital T and the capital I since it's only looking for capital letters. Let's run it and you can see right here. So it's got this T here and then it keeps going and it finds this I right here. If we put uh, some more capital letters and run it again, you can see it puts all those capital letters as well. So let's uh, go over here and what we're gonna do is exactly the same thing as that, but we're gonna return the result of calling the match method on str. So we'll come over here, and we'll do return, and we'll say uh, str dot match, and then we'll put in there the regex, all right? So that should take care of it. Let's cap it off with a semicolon thusly, and then let's come down here and uh, make sure it worked by saying console.log, and we'll get the is invalid input dot st, excuse me, with the, uh, uh, what is this? The parentheses, and then we'll put something in there. We'll put like uh, some numbers, an E, that's an R, an E, and some other numbers. And let's wrap this thing up in uh, quotes, whoa, 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 in quotes, thusly, all right? So let's come over here to the console, and we can see it's at index zero. This is the input, and it found this right here, right? Groups undefined, I don't know what that means. We could go to chat GPT, but uh, maybe later, right? So let's do something, let's just, let's do something else. Let's put like a letter in between one of these, right? So now we see that it's got this and it starts at this uh, 25 right after the F, right? So it goes to index four, which is at zero, one, two, three, four. What? No, 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 zero, one, two, three, four, all right? So there's the fourth uh, index right there. And so if we put, uh, but look, look what happened. Let's put some, some numbers, some, pardon me, some letters, and then some numbers and an E and some more numbers. And it's only matching at one time, right? You can see right here. Uh, but if we put the global search flag right here, the old G, you can see it matched this one and this one right here. So that's a little trick we can do to uh, test it out. Let's get rid of that G. Let's get rid of that console.log and let's run the code. Whoa, whoa, whoa. let's not get rid of the uh, uh, curly brace. Let's do this, get rid of it, run the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 36 and we'll see you next time.